Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Stanley Parable. We're gonna go... All of his co-workers were... Wait, no. This isn't the right office, is it? Is this Stanley's office? Wait, what? He's saying something different. Does something change? Am I? I'm curious. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, so he said something different there for this a second. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. Okay. Sorry. Anyways, it kind of threw me off because he said, wait, this wasn't his office. And I was like, wait, what? Just to admire it. Um. Wow. Anyways, yes. we're going to do a similar this path as before, however, we're going to answer the phone business, this time. So, I was curious what that would lead to, so we're going to take the crane, it'll lead us to another room with a, a phone. Last time we unplugged it and Stanley saw where that led, so which is a really interesting path, but this time we're answering the phone. Five years ago. Yep. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot. Nah, I, I like I'm my feet. Enemy, really, Actually, I don't have feet. We I pointed that out last episode that I have no feet and doors closed behind me. And everything's a dream. Everything is fake. But you, it's not. This time. Okay, okay. I want the phone. Been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten. The crane is like the worst part. Please, stop trying to make every decision I guess I'm gonna go meet my I girlfriend. <gasps> Her. This is it, Stanley. My your girlfriend. Up to do. To put your okay. work aside. To let her phone. back into your life. Just, just get the She's phone. <gasps> oh god, that light. That Yay! Her, Stanley. I'm, I pick it up. <gasps> Yay! Different path. Anything? Oh wow! I literally do oh, wake Stanley, up at my house. Is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. Oh right. Okay, there we Open go. the door. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. Oh, <laughs> God, that's freaky. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Not a chance. I'm totally gay. Their life to you. I'm trying to make oh, a that's point rude. here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come Mannequin? inside. Let me show you what's Boobies. really going on here. Wait, so then can I still have other paths? Sorry. But you're in my story now. I guess not. I literally have to... F okay. Because, <laughs> like, there's so many different chains. Um, like, branches, I guess. Interesting off. This is a very sad oh. story about the death of a man named Stan. Oh, why do I have to die? Why do I always die? Um. Do I have to press 8? I don't want to press 8. I want to live. I want to live. He always kills me. This narrator's a dick. Either deleting the world or imprisoning me outside of my body to watch or imprisoning me in a dream where suddenly I'm dead. Fine, I pressed eight. Wait. Stanley there we go. Is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him. And every <sighs> button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. I don't want to... Press the buttons. Oh, it's a zero. Look at him there, pushing buttons. No! Doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Oh, yay, now food. he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. Oh. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Not really. Eight again? Is there, like, something I could do, like, not? If I hit, like, every other button on the keyboard? Not really. Okay, in fine. His mind, ah, in his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown, fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work, any more space to walk around, I feel that bored. None of it would ever happen to him. Oh, TV! I like that. I pressed it. I pressed it. And so he began oh, that time to it wasn't fantasize no. about ah. his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Except I won't. So, he went further. 
He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. As he wandered through I want this food. Oh. world, he began to fill it with many possible paths yeah, the floor is and destinations. Changing. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. It was such a wonder wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again. Is that always the and roof? again. Over and over. Oh, the wall's changing now. It would never end. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. I hate you. But there is no answer. Yeah. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing. At least now my office has a window. So has. before it didn't. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. Go to sleep at work, boo. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen killing to me. Killing himself, live with this stop. song. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Hmm. You see? Can he just not hear me? Oh. How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? No, I want to live. How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my But that means there's another path where I listen to him and don't press the button. So, so it's I like, suppose. I have to come back I'll to this again eventually. I convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps... Well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. Please die! And Stanley pushed a button. Ah. And I tried again. And Stanley, Stanley pushed a button. And I... Am I dead again? Part of me is like, is this a new game? But this is different. This is a different office. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. What? Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. Well, we're not going down the main path, so... Yay? The whiteboard ending? Okay. What the heck? So is that it? I guess that's the end of the episode. Okay. Yay! Whiteboard ending! It's weird. Okay. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I guess I think that's the end, because it looks like it's just going to lead to the doorways, right? I just... Before I end this off, I want to make sure... That this Stanley came to a set of two open doors, is he the next door episode. Okay, anyways, I guess that's where I'm ending off the episode. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys with another video tomorrow. Goodbye.